please forgive me dad. Meg goes crazy as Harry secretly returns UK dash abandoning her and kids. Prince Harry has reportedly made a secret trip back to the UK dash leaving Meghan and baby son Archie behind in Los Angeles. A source close to the royal family tells new idea Harry made the mystery dash to see his father, Prince Charles, and brother, Prince William, a move that is said to have angered his wife. There are rumors flying about why he came back, from spending time with his grandfather, to seeing his dad, Prince Charles, reveals the insider, who adds, everyone's hoping he's home to finally patch things up. Rumor also has it that Harry landed into the UK last weekend on a private jet, claims the insider. It is understood Harry most likely wanted to reconnect with members of the royal family during his stay and make an attempt to mend his relationship with his father and brother. News of Harry's surprise visit comes just days after Prince Charles and Prince William shared a candid photograph of the two of them. Glaringly absent from the touching social media tribute was any mention of Harry. Royals author, Phil Dampier, tells New Idea that this photo would have greatly affected the absent prince. Harry would have seen the picture and it must have made him think about what he has done and what he is missing. It's a powerful contrast, and the picture demonstrates the importance of family ties. With Charles resting on William's shoulder, the message is that he's going to support and look after his father in the future, come what may. King Charles should strip Prince Harry and Meghan Markle of their royal title swiftly and decisively, a British author has said. Niall Gardner, a foreign policy analyst and former aide to Margaret Thatcher, spoke out after it emerged the couple are to receive an award which he described as an insult to the monarchy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are set to be honoured by the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Foundation for their heroic stance against the structural racism of the royal family. Carrie Kennedy, RFK's daughter and president of the foundation, said Harry, 38, and Meghan, 41, have challenged the firm's power structure. She now plans to hand the Duke and Duchess a gong to recognize their achievements at the Ripple of Hope Gala, held in New York on 6 December in her father's honor. But Mr. Gardner described the award as ridiculous, adding it was a disgraceful attack on the royal family. Speaking about the award on Twitter, he added, an insult to the British monarchy. Meghan and Harry should be stripped of their royal title swiftly and decisively. Award ceremony host Ms. Kennedy, who is John F. Kennedy's niece, has spoken of how Harry and Meghan took a brave stance against the firm, knowing they would be ostracized as a result. She said, they went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong, that they couldn't have structural racism within the institution, that they could not maintain a misunderstanding about mental health. Few would have the courage to question their colleagues, family and community about the power structure they maintained, and this is what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have done. The award comes after Harry and Meghan's controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey last year, during which the couple claimed they had experienced racism within the royal family. The couple alleged that an unnamed senior royal made a racist comment about the skin color of their then-unborn son Archie, 